Hokey dokey. Shout out to Lily for sending me this problem to work out for you all. So in this problem, we are given a cost function with respect to x and y, x representing the number of junior programmers, y representing the number of senior programmers. We want to know, using marginal cost, whether it's more cost effective to hire a junior programmer or a senior programmer. So the way this works is we want to find first the derivatives with respect to x and y. So the first derivative with respect to x, first derivative with respect to y. Once we have those, we will plug in the x and y values that they give us in the problem statement for x and y. So uh, 17 junior programmers would be our x value. 9 senior programmers would be our y value. So once we have cx and cy, we'll plug in x and y, 17 and 9, into both of them. And then the most negative value between the two of those will be, well, it'll lead to our answer. And so if basically we're looking for uh, something to be more negative, because what that'll tell us is the, uh, so say if cx was like negative 200 in the end, that tells us that it'll cost the company minus $200. In other words, it'll save the company $200 in order to hire, or if they hired a junior programmer, since X corresponds to junior programmer. And so we're looking for the more negative answer to tell us who to hire. So let's talk through the derivatives. Derivative of this function with respect to X, we keep the 1179. LN of anything, the derivative is 1 over that anything, so 1 over x squared, y squared, and then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside with respect to x. x squared goes to 2x, and y squared gets carried along since it's multiplied by x squared at the start. 22 over xy is equivalent to 22 over y times x to the negative 1. So we take the derivative of the x term by bringing out the negative 1 and subtracting the exponent by 1. So basically we have plus, we can leave the 22 over y as it is, but then we take the derivative of the x to the negative 1, so we get negative x to the negative 2. I'll go ahead and rewrite this as negative 1 over x squared. And then uh, minus 260x goes to minus 260, and then the other terms don't have x in them, so the derivatives of those with respect to x go to 0. So we are done for cx. We repeat the process, find the derivative of this with respect to y. So it'll be pretty similar in some ways. We have 1179. We find the derivative of ln of x squared y squared, which is 1 over x squared y squared, but then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, now with respect to y, which is uh, x squared times 2y. We leave the x squared, but we take the derivative of the y term, which is 2y. So then we'll get a very similar derivative for this term again, since we just have x, y on the bottom. So we essentially rewrite it as 22 over x times y to the negative one, so we can bring down the 22 over x, and then we take the derivative of this y to the negative 1, and we get negative y to the negative 2, which we then rewrite as negative 1 over y squared. So essentially the same derivative as we had before, just swapping x and y. The derivative of this x term with respect to y uh, goes to 0, since we're treating x as a constant. The y term, 33y squared, goes to 66y, and then 2,000 goes to 0. So this is our derivative with respect to y. Let's simplify a couple things before we plug in our values. cx equals, uh, let's see, so we have an x squared. So like all this stuff here, we can rewrite as 2xy squared. y squared's were will cancel, one of these x's will cancel, leaving us with just 2 over x. So I may just simplify it within the mix here. Um, and then we can combine these if we want and call it negative 22 over y x squared. 
And then we can do a similar simplification on the bottom, x squared times 2y up top, x squareds cancel, 1y cancels, leaving us with 2 over y for this portion. And then here, negative 22 on top, and then xy squared on the bottom. And we have that. Okay, so now we're plugging in 17 and 9 for x and y respectively. So uh, let's see if we can do this. I may just try to jump straight to Excel, or not Excel, uh, Desmos here. Alrighty, so we've plugged in 17 and 9 into x and y respectively for cx and for cy. So what we have here are the partial derivative values, basically the marginal costs for hiring a junior programmer versus a hiring a senior programmer. So what this says is that if we hire a junior programmer, the cost will go down by $121. If we hire one more senior programmer, the cost will go up for the company by $855 or $856 even, dollars, which means the one that's more cost effective for the company is the one that's going to bring the cost down. And so we want to hire a junior programmer. So we're looking for the more negative answer. So this one, negative 121, is our more negative answer.